Jamie Stevenson from St. Cat Rescue joins us now. Thanks for being here today, Jamie. Thank you for having me. And we can see and hear the special guest you brought with you. Yes, <laughs> this is, this one is Clark. This one is Hannah. And their brothers are at home are Marshall and Sonana. And they have a theme there with all those names. They do. Um, one of our uh, volunteers is Hannah Stolke's aunt. So we did, we named them after the basketball players. And they are looking really good. And they are just in the early go. stages of mm -hmm. being a kid, not quite ready for adoption yet. No, they are not quite ready. They're still, um, we'll still bottle feeding them about every four hours, um, trying to wean them off that bottle. But they wanted to come say hi because it's kitten season. It is kitten season. What does that mean for you guys at St.? Uh, we have an influx of calls. Um, people find, find kittens in their yards or like a single kitten, a mom and kittens. Mm -hmm. um, if there's no mom, we have to bottle feed them um, and we only have so many fosters. Yeah. that are available for that and clearly there are a lot of work. Quite a bit of work and lots of meowing too. Yes. What, and what do you tell people when they call and say that they found kittens? Uh, first we ask, um, you know, is the mom with them? Have we seen mom? Um, if they're cold to the touch, definitely don't feed them. Mm -hmm. um, it can definitely, it can kill them. Yeah, so kind of them, the opposite of what people may think. Yeah. Right, yep, we gotta get them warmed up before we can feed them. Um, if mom is still in the picture, is mom... <laughs> Needs a big kiss, yeah. Tame. <laughs> um, it's harder if mom's not tame to mm -hmm. uh, tame the little kittens, but you know, it still can be done, so. Right, and speaking of moms, Mother's Day coming up. Yes. You have an event is we coming do. up as well. Um, you can come to the shelter on the Saturday before Mother's Day. You can make a cookie for mom. It's $5 for one or two for eight. Um, we'll have a bunch of different frostings and stuff. And our um, in our warehouse next door, IHA is having their plant sales. So it's kind of a big weekend. Yeah, something fun to do with mom, but you don't mm -hmm. want to get a kitten as a gift for mom. Absolutely not. You can bring mom to come visit. <laughs> Check them out and maybe yep. get some ideas, but mm -hmm. have her there. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh -huh. And what are some of the things you tell people and what you want them to know when they're adopting? Um, Especially if they're more the kitten side as well. Right. Um, kittens are going to be handfuls. Uh, they need a lot of interaction, a lot of playtime. Um, you know, they're going to climb like your... Just like that, yeah. yeah they're going to climb your curtains. Constantly, they're going to climb right. yourself. They're constantly... <laughs> On the move, um, you know, definitely providing them a lot of uh, interactive toys yeah. helps get them uh, calm down. <laughs> and you can't really tell personalities when they're a little kitten either, quite No, yet. not really. Mm -hmm. And um, does it help too to have a pair that they can entertain each other? Absolutely. Not really. Pairs definitely help. Um, single kittens definitely, they have what we call single kitten syndrome where they're just really naughty yeah. <laughs> and they get into everything. Um, with the pairs, they keep each other a little bit more entertained so they're less likely to climb your curtains or your walls or you. Anything else, yeah. And mm -hmm. with that funders are coming up, why is it so important to have that funds as an organization? So we don't get any grants or anything from any money from the city so we get our money from fundraisers um, so you know makes a big difference. It does. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Jamie, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. And now your agribusiness report.